Welcome to Absolute Facts. Today, we're delving into one of the world's most technologically advanced countries. Japan, with its four main islands and an additional 4,000 smaller ones, is home to around 123.3 million people as of 2023, embodying a dynamic blend of tradition and modernity. Experience the land of the rising sun, where an average of 1,500 earthquakes annually showcases its position along the seismic Pacific Ring of Fire. Join us on this journey as we uncover 10 things you didn't know about Japan. Number 1. The Japanese live the longest. Japan, with a life expectancy of 84, boasts one of the world's oldest populations, where over 28% of its residents are aged 65 or older. Predominantly, this demographic is composed of women. Surprisingly, there are more than 85,000 individuals aged over 100. Jiromon Kimura, a Japanese man, holds the official record as the oldest verified person, having lived to the age of 116 until his passing in 2013. Number 2. Smart Toilets Japanese washlets, the advanced super toilets, boast an array of cutting-edge features. From diverse backside sprays and adjustable water temperatures to built-in perfumes and ambient noise-covering sounds, these toilets redefine the standards. Despite their initial complexity, Mastering a few simple tricks makes navigating these futuristic marvels a breeze. Number 3. Vending Machines Tokyo's vending machines go beyond the ordinary, offering everything from flying fish soup to puppies. Renowned for their innovation, these machines make our standard Coca-Cola dispensers pale in comparison. Wandering the streets of Tokyo, you'll encounter vending machines every 12 meters, stocked with a diverse array of items like umbrellas, condoms, surical masks, fresh fruit, eggs, ramen, and even freshly cooked hamburgers. Among the most remarkable is a vending machine for puppies, providing an unconventional way to bring a new furry friend into your life. Number 4. Weird Game Shows Japanese game shows are famous for their wild and unconventional nature, often considered too extreme for broadcast in many countries. Participants find themselves in bizarre and hilariously humiliating scenarios, from biting into chocolate look-alikes to ventures into explicit and gory territory. These shows fully embrace their eccentricity, standing far apart from conventional game shows like Wheel of Fortune. Number 5. Made Cafes In Tokyo's lively Akihabara district, you'll find unique made cafes. These enchanting spots blend anime and electronics enthusiasm with dining. Waitresses, dressed in elaborate made costumes, transform into charming characters, creating a playful and immersive experience. Beyond cute dishes and interactive activities, these cafes offer a whimsical escape where everyday moments become extraordinary. It's a captivating journey into the world of imagination for both locals and travelers. Number 6. The Art of Slurping In many Western countries, making noise while eating in a public place is seen as impolite. However, in Japan, it's almost like they want you to slurp your food. When you're in a Japanese restaurant eating noodles, you might notice people bringing their bowls really close to their face. This might seem strange, but they do it to make the noodles taste even better. Number 7. Rabbit Island In the 1940s, scientists brought several rabbits to Okonoshima Island for experiments. Over time, the rabbits were released and began to reproduce. Now the island is teeming with them, drawing numerous tourists. 8. Cuddle Cafes Tokyo introduced the first cuddle cafes called Swanya translating to sleep together shop. These venues allow male patrons to share a bed with a woman for a fee, strictly prohibiting inappropriate behavior. The basic admission fee is around $25, with durations ranging from a 20-minute nap to a 10-hour session or an entire night's sleep. Prices vary, starting at $40 for the shortest option and going up to $400 for the longest stay. 
Additional services like girl pats customer on the back or stroking the girl's hair for three minutes are available. Whether you find it intriguing or unsettling, one thing is certain. It undeniably falls into the realm of the peculiar. 9. Capsule Hotels Tokyo is home to numerous well-known capsule hotels, many of which are exclusively for men. Only in Tokyo would the idea of sleeping in a small, coffin-like pod be widely accepted. The concept of capsule hotels originated in Osaka in 1979, offering a practical and affordable accommodation option for business travelers and tourists alike. Each capsule typically includes a bed and internet access, keeping it simple. Some capsule hotels feature women-only floors, while others may not allow women at all due to cultural considerations. 10. Technology and Robotics Japan's reputation as a technological powerhouse is well-deserved. The country continues to lead in robotics, artificial intelligence, and cutting-edge advancements. From lifelike humanoid robots to innovations in manufacturing, Japan's tech landscape showcases its commitment to progress. The robotics industry extends into various sectors, from healthcare to entertainment, making it an essential contributor to the global technological landscape. 11. Sumo Wrestling Sumo, an ancient sport in Japan, has a history of over a thousand years. It's a physically demanding mix of tradition, athleticism, and spirituality. The wrestlers, known as Rikishi, aren't just athletes, they're cultural icons. They engage in grand tournaments called Basho, where rituals highlight their strength and technique. Beyond the ring, Sumo is connected to Shinto rituals, and wrestlers are seen as symbols of dedication and discipline. Every tournament and ceremonial match keeps alive Japan's rich heritage, respecting traditions deeply. 12. Countermeasures Against Disasters Japan experiences around 1,500 earthquakes annually, and this frequent seismic activity is attributed to the country's position across three tectonic plates known as the Pacific Ring of Fire. Similar to emergency fire drills in schools worldwide, Japanese schools conduct regular earthquake drills, some as frequently as once a month. In public elementary schools, children are taught to take cover under their desks, head first, and to hold on to the legs of the desk in the event of an earthquake while in the classroom.